Oh, hey. So I found this Harbor Freight bench top workbench thing uh, on the curb. It, it wasn't on this curb, but it was one just like it. And I'm going to turn it into this, this $100 Harbor Freight workbench. I'm going to turn it into a million dollar workbench. We're going to do this thing up. Let's check it out. Oh hey, so we pretty much got the the old bench workbench top cut down and fit inside of the Harbor Freight bench. And I also mounted so I could see how it was going to fit and where it was going to fit. I mounted the my old vise instead of the Harbor Freight vise to here, so I know where it's going to be secure and it'll work. What I've got to do. What I, what, after doing that, the reason I mounted that vise is so I can see how am I going to accomplish getting the legs and everything built around that. And what I've decided to do, I was thinking I had to raise the Harbor Freight bench up and put maybe risers under the legs. What I've decided is I'm going to put the risers underneath the top of the, the table top, the bench top. And the lower portion of the Harbor Freight bench will basically be the same setup, the same height. Anyway, it all makes a, it'll make more sense as you watch. Um, I'm going to move this bench top, put it on some saw horses, and I'm going to create the risers for this out of wood from my old bench. Uh, so I'm going to tear that apart and use part of that. This old bench will have been, this will be the, I think the fourth iteration of a bench using this parts of this bench. Anyway, so I'm going to take this apart, put risers on the top of this, and we'll go from there. Let's check it out.
Oh, hey. So this is getting near completion. Um, old workbench, use parts of that to beef up the top, raise this up so my cool vise, my cool guy vise, um, like a really good vise, could fit underneath here. It also raised the top of the table to match uh, my table saws and so we can have a little bit of an outfeed table going on. The four drawers on the original Harbor Freight table, um, I kept, that's the only thing I kept is the actual drawers themselves that had uh, MDF in it, right? I got rid of the rest, any MDF on the thing I got rid of and I replaced it with whatever what I had. So what we do, we upcycle, we reclaim. Um, so everything seems to be working out. These are all finished, they look really neat. I love this uh, look that I'm doing here. So I'll have one, two, three, four drawers. The finish I put on here uh, is some leftover paint I have for my wife's salon project. Anyway, it's got, I, did, I like this because it looks like an old weathered look. It looks like this might have been stored outside for a while. Uh, maybe painted a couple times and it's worn away in certain areas. But anyway, so it's kind of a neat look. The top, I'm just going to do a, a good oil over it. And we're almost there. So I wanted to make the drawers, thanks to my pod mate Tim Sway, he gave me the idea to get some brackets or some slides that open both ways. How cool is that? So I can open these drawers from this side or that side. Love that idea. I measured this opening. And I cut it, and it's the same exact thing that I, that I actually measured. So I cut it to what I wanted to do it, but what I wanted to do it wasn't the right measurement. Hence, these brackets won't fit one on each side of this. There's not enough room. So I screwed up. How are we going to fix that? Well, I thought about pulling these side panels off planing them down in my thickness planer a little bit to, to create more room. I don't need much more room. Um, but then I'd have to tear all of that apart and then the finish would come off of it and I'd have to redo all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a channel on the sides of the drawers where this will go. So I can recess this in just about an eighth of an inch on each side and that'll give me plenty of room. It'll fit in there. And that's what we're going to do. That's what you do when you screw up. You figure out a solution, right? Love solving problems. I hate creating the problems, but I love solving the problems. So that's where we're at. I'm going to get that done. We're almost done. You'll see me finish the rest of it, and then um, we'll check back in a little bit. Thanks.
Oh, hey. So we're done. And this came out way better than I thought it would. Uh, starting off, we had the Harbor Freight table and my old workbench. And I combined the two. And we added weight, which was the main thing I wanted to do. I like the size of the Harbor Freight top, but the Harbor Freight is a little bit light. It's a table. I want a workbench. This thing is beefy. Right? Anyway, added part of the tabletop to my old workbench to the bottom of this workbench. The legs of my old workbench raised this up to accommodate this vise. I ended up putting the two-sided uh, slides for the drawers. So they open this way, they open this way. That's really cool. I had some diamond plates, some aluminum diamond plate, and I thought, what better way to dress this up? I've had it for over a year. Somebody gave it to me. I haven't done anything with it. This was the perfect project for that. So the drawer fronts and the bottom shelf with that diamond plate, this thing does look like a million bucks. Um, if you don't have diamond plate, because I realize everybody doesn't, even if I just took a piece of three-quarter inch plywood and made that bottom shelf and then oiled it the same as the top, it would have stood out really pretty. Um, the knobs on the drawers are just old stuff I had, so everything here I already had. I didn't really buy anything for this project. The nuts and screws and bolts I took off from the two benches and I used them again for this one or stuff I already had. I got a little bit of leftover wood, that'll be scraps that I can use for another project. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll check you out next time.